Artificial intelligence or AI is having its moment getting integrated into our lives and soon it may be used to find cures. It is being considered as a faster, less expensive way to get our breakthrough medicines and will potentially save billions of dollars and lives. You may have heard of chat GPT. Everywhere you look, everyone seems to be talking about AI. But it's not just helping to write resumes or papers. AI is also changing the medical world. We can cut down the experiments as well as cut down the time. On average, it takes 10 years to develop a new drug. Now a team at the University of Central Florida is speeding that process up using an AI-based drug screening method that they've developed. We are, you know, working on basically uh, trying to try to model drug and, uh, and the target uh, protein interactions and find the pre uh, predict their interactions. It translates the complex interactions at each drug protein binding site into words. The AI model then analyzes that language to learn which parts of a virus protein a drug will bind to. With 97% accuracy, it can predict how well a drug will work. So you can just uh, give it, for example, the COVID protein and uh, test it against all the dr FDA approved drugs and see whether or not they bind or not. That's the, the beauty of this work. It's called Attention Site DTI, and it's ready to be used right now for free for anyone developing a new drug. But I think it's going to revolutionize uh, medical field um, in so many different ways. It's expected to another upside for using AI in drug discovery. The less time in the lab, the lower the cost of the drug to create it. And researchers believe that that savings could be handed down to the consumer. As for this technology, researchers are now ready to create a website like ChatGPT, making it simple for other scientists to put in their data and see if their drugs will work or not. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.